So what I have up here, ladies and gentlemen, is I have 4y squared minus 3y, 3wy times that y plus 2 divided by 3y minus 4w or times 5y plus y. 5w plus y. Oh, it's a lot, right? So the main important thing, guys, what I like to do when I have multiple terms is I want to write them out separately and see what can I factor and what can I not factor, all right? So let's rewrite this. 4w minus 3wy. Can I factor anything out of those terms? W, w right? Factor out of W, I'm left with 4W minus 3Y, right? Very good. How about Y plus W, or W plus Y? Can I factor anything out there? No, so that's just going to remain the same. Um, 3Y minus 4, can you factor anything out there? 3Y minus 4W, can you factor anything out? No. Uh, how about 5W plus Y? factor anything out? No. No. So the only thing I have is 4, um, 4w minus 3y. So let's rewrite this. So I have w times 4w minus 3y times w plus y <coughs> divided by 3y minus 4w times 5w plus y. So ladies and gentlemen, do we have anything that we can divide out right now? Yes. I was just wondering, is it possible to like, put the like terms together and like, one side and then um, do that? What do you mean like, like terms? Like with the W's and one half with the thing and the Y's and the other half? Well, each term has a W and a Y. Yeah, what I'm saying, like you split those up and then, because it's all... <coughs> but it's all, it's all, it's all multiplied, so it's, there's not really something we can change. I mean, I, can, I can't re... I mean, I'd have to distribute these. But this is this times this, this times this, so they're all multiplied together. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't really rewrite it any more, any further than this, except for just switching these around, or switching those two around. But I can't keep the W's together or the Y's together, because then that would undo the operations that are happening. That are happening. Um, but yeah, if there was going to be two terms that would divide out, does anybody know which two terms would look like they could divide out? Yes. W plus Y. And what? And oh, negative, negative and 3y negative 4w. Okay. Um, well, that's very close. Yeah, we can't, unfortunately, we can't divide this because this isn't um, the 5 times this. So, yes, we can't, these aren't going to divide into them. They're not one, they're not even the same, but even if they were the same, you can't divide them out through multiplication. We can't even divide 4w minus 3y divided by 3y minus 4w because they're not exactly the same either. Right? Let's, let's pull them out. 4w minus 3y is not the same thing as negative 4w plus 3y. Do you guys agree with that? I just rewrote it. I rewrote it so the w's are by each other and the y's are by each other. That is not the same thing. They do not cancel out. They don't. However, what I can do is I can factor out a negative 1. If I factor out a negative 1, then that turns to positive, and that turns to negative. So now, ladies and gentlemen, when you factor out a negative 1, are they now the same? Yes. So what I can do is, if I make this negative, then... Yeah, you can. I'm not changing it. All I'm doing is I'm factoring out a negative 1. So I'm not changing the problem at all. I'm just factoring out a negative 1. Do you want me to prove it to you? Nope. Do okay. I have to do this? So therefore, W times W plus Y divided by, it's now negative, 5W plus Y. So now this is the problem. These two terms are able to divide out, but now the problem is turned from a positive to a negative. Okay? Is that it? That's it.